Well, before we discuss the events happening in Southern Nevada later this week, let's back up and talk about how we uh, even started this discussion about a possible civilian raid on Area 51. Right, so earlier this summer, a young man named Matty Roberts, a college student from Bakersfield, California, created a Facebook event called Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop Us All. Essentially, Robert suggested that a bunch of people meet up in rural Nevada on September 20th and coordinate their parties so they could Naruto run past the guards and, quote, see them aliens. Uh, I should point out that this was meant to be a joke. First of all, a Naruto run is a reference to a popular anime in which a person runs very fast with their torso, like, leaning forward and their arms behind their back. Also, in interviews, Robert admits to having created the event out of boredom for laughs. But for some reason, it's just resonated with people. And joking or not, storming Area 51 got well over 2 million RSVPs. And that's the point when this thing hit critical mass. Uh, And even the US Air Force issued a comment expressing concern and warning people that they need to stay away from the installation and that the military would take steps to protect its assets. At this point, this raid has uh, morphed into a few different events. Tell us about those. Right, so seeing an opportunity to capitalize on the sudden mass interest in the site, uh, some of the small towns around Area 51 began trying to create alien-themed festivals meant to attract some of the people looking to come to the remote part of the Mojave Desert. There are a couple events that have sprung up. Uh, One has been billed as the Area 51 Base Camp in Hiko. That's about 30 miles east of Rachel. Others tried to create an event in the Amargosa Valley of Nye County but county leaders there put the kibosh on that. Uh, Most prominent, though, was an event that was dubbed Alien Stock and Rachel. It was the brainchild of Roberts, the young man who created the Facebook post, and Connie West, the owner of a place called The Little Alien. It's a little motel, tourist trap, a restaurant in Rachel. But there's a lot of confusion surrounding that particular event. That's putting it mildly. Um, Just about a week ago, that Alien Stock event was canceled. In a post on Facebook, Robert cited concerns over the logistics associated with trying to conjure up a festival out of thin air and actually warned people against visiting Rachel itself. Instead, he's since announced a one-night-only Area 51-themed party. The town's own website is even warning people not to come. Uh, They're saying that there's no food, no shelter, no internet, and they're even going as far as to say that they're worried about riots when people show up expecting a music festival but end up getting nothing. It sounds like this could end badly, similar to what happened a few years ago with the Fire Festival. It was a supposed luxury music festival in the Bahamas, but a bunch of people showed up and it turned into this humanitarian crisis. You know, that's what a lot of people are already comparing this to, uh, mainly because this is in a really rural area. Rachel has a population of just over 50 people, according to the last census and Lincoln County itself only has a little over 5,300 people. So these aren't the major metropolitan areas of the state with infrastructure meant to support large crowds. Also, it's not like there's a grocery store or gas station, let alone a hospital anywhere near the site. So if people head out there, in many ways, they're going to be on their own. So if they're not prepared, this could end badly. Also, where are they going to stay? Where are people going to use the bathroom? Where will they get water? All of these things are still in question. There's also some pretty major security concerns. Lincoln County has declared an emergency to prepare for all of this, but no one knows for sure how many people are actually going to show up. Uh, In an interview with the Reno Gazette Journal, Lincoln County Sheriff Kerry Lee estimates there'll be about 350 first responders, with about 150 of those being law enforcement. But if thousands of people show up, will that be enough? I I, I can't answer that. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Paul, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, Michelle.